Hey guys, what's up? Kevin AK Shadow Triple Zero here, and welcome to another comic book review. Today I have with me is, um, well, um, remember that, uh, new Deadpool vs. X Force, um, miniseries that, um, I covered up? Um, and when I said that there's gonna be another one after that, well, it's here now. Deadpool Dracula's Gauntlet Issue 1. So, yeah, this is like the 6th, 7th miniseries of Deadpool. Um, I don't know, it's just there's a lot so far. I don't know, um, I mean, I love Deadpool, don't get me wrong, but I think they're really um, putting him in way too many miniseries. I mean, I already have one reading right now, which I just re sold you, Deadpool vs. X-Force, and now there's this. Um, like, uh, if you guys... Uh, got that one of those free digital comic books. Um, Deadpool the Gauntlet was one of them. Uh, it's it, uh, it's the tie-in to this book here. It's now Deadpool Dracula's Gauntlet. So um, the first like first half is exactly like the free book Deadpool the Gauntlet. So um, I'm not gonna read that part. It was just really basically. Um, uh, Deadpool assassinating someone, rescuing a girl, try to kiss her, but then she runs away. Then uh, he meets this vampire, assassinates him, and then sees Dracula. That's really it. On, uh, that first half. And through the Deadpool gauntlet. The same exact art, same exact pages and all that. So I'm just going to go ahead to the new pages, the new scenes here. So, um, if you want to find more information about uh, Deadpool the Gauntlet, um, you can go back to our old channel, Documentary Inc., where I review Deadpool the Gauntlet. So, you can go ahead and check that out if you want. But, um, enough of that. Let's uh, move on here. Um, it truly starts off with um, Deadpool and Dracula discussing of, uh, why Deadpool's here. And... Um, Dracula is actually hiring Deadpool to get back his bride because he is going to get married. And but um, his wife got kidnapped by a bunch of Arabians in uh, Arabian Peninsula. And uh, Deadpool's job is to find her coffin and with her inside it and bring it back to um, Dracula. So Deadpool goes to this cave and. Arabian, and um, he meets these guys who are about to assassinate this, the same exact casket that Dracula's wife's in. So Deadpool shoots them, but um, fortunately for him, they were Bamfers, they had Nightcrawler's ability. Um, art looks good though, it still enjoy. it was still as good as it was when I read Dracula, I mean Deadpool the Gauntlet. Um, so that's that's one one of the reasons that's one of the other reasons why I'm keeping in track with Deadpool miniseries. I mean the artwork for um, those miniseries are always good, but um, yeah, it's just a huge fight scene going on. Um, Deadpool eventually kills him, of course. Then there's this huge green sp spider bomb that's about to blow the whole place up, and uh, Deadpool grabs the case, the coffin I mean, that has um, Dracula's wife in, goes to this waterfall, makes it out of there, and um, as you can tell by, you see the, uh, that, that white box that's covering that crack, uh, yeah, I think that, um, I think next issue Dracula's wife will be released. Or another issue, who knows? But um, well, th that's really it. That's the end of this issue. Not too much to say. Um, I was really gonna give it three out of five, but I'll give it three point five out of five just to be nice. I mean, artwork was nice, and um, um, to those of you who haven't read Deadpool: The Gauntlet, it is pretty good. But for those of you who have, it's really nothing too special. You already know what happened in the first half. It's just that second half you have to really read. 
But, um, yeah, I mean, I did like the artwork. It's nice. I feel like this was kind of short since, um, I did read Deadpool the Gauntlet a while back. And, um, I don't know. I mean, I'll give it another shot. I mean, I'll get issue two and find out what happens next. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to get it or not. Um, doesn't matter. I mean, I, Deadpool fans would like it, but it's not a recommended book. Because, um, I'm already reading Deadpool and the X-Force. So, um, also giving that a shot. But, whatever you want to do, you can either, um, just read it online or, uh, just get the actual book. Um, I don't know if it's good for, like, two or three dollars. Um, I think it's good for, like, a dollar fifty. I don't know. That's my opinion, but it's not a terrible read. Just expect it more next time. So hopefully next issue here we'll be getting that, so that's my opinion on that. I mean, if it doesn't turn out well, it's not that bad, because um, I have better books than I'm reading right now. But, um, once again, I'll still be reading issue two when that comes out. Same goes with Deadpool vs. X-Force issue two, as I said before in my review last week. But, um, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, go to Comic Related and ComicFrontline.com for your comic news, reviews, and a whole bunch more, but as the case may be. It doesn't have to, it can, it can be anything at all. It can be comic books, toys, games, movies, cards, anything. And also, if you want to find more information about us, uh, you can check those two sites out. Those are Comic Related, comic related and ComicFrontline.com. Alright, so, um, also subscribe to us here on YouTube on Comic Frontline. Hit that subscribe button down below this video if you will, please. That'll help this channel a whole lot. And also, if, um, you want to find more about us here on YouTube, you can check, uh, our YouTube channel. Once you click there, you'll see other channels on the right side here. Myself included. Um, there are, um, other members of Comic Frontline. Uh, you can check out their individual channels and watch their own videos. And, of course, as well as their own videos here at Comic Frontline. So, show them some love and support by doing all that. And, um, if you have any questions or, um, thoughts or opinions, uh, please share them with me on, um, this video here. Comment below and sh tell me what you have. Um, or if they make this easier for you instead, uh, you can comment on my channel, which is Shadow Wolf Triple Zero. That is Shadow Wolf and Three Zeros. And, um, or if you want to do this instead, um, I was going to say, um, message me or PM me on an inbox, but inbox is pretty much dead thanks to YouTube and Google stupidity. Thank you, Google and YouTube. You never cease to amaze me. Uh, instead, you can either send me a message on community, um, when you go to Creator Studio and, uh, you go to community and then message and um, you can send a message there or maybe you can go to my about and when you go to my channel you see about and you just click on set message and you can just do that so yeah that's easy so you get, you have those three options you have um, commenting below this video commenting on my channel or sending a message to me so you can do one of those three options I accept either one and I hope I get to see it when I do though um, I'll be sure to reply to you ASAP. I'm always up for a conversation, guys, so please uh, share your thoughts, questions, and opinions. And uh, let's talk. All right, so um, that's it for me for today. I'm Kevin, a.k.a. Shadow Triple Zero. Take care of yourselves and each other. Keep collecting, reading, reviewing, and I will see you guys on the next comic review or Pokemon Card Booster Pack unboxing video. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. See you around.